In today's video, I've got week two of my online CFM game. I'm locking in against They Love Cash, the New Orleans Saints, Cowboys versus Saints. Now, my opponent is using Justin Herbert at quarterback. I've got Patrick Mahomes. Let's see what happens, and uh, let's lock in. All right, guys, now, if you've never been to my YouTube channel before, my YouTube channel focuses on how to basically help people get better at Madden 21. We do that through daily tips and tricks. So if you want to pick up these tricks and tips on the daily, go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, so I have the Cowboys. My opponent has the Saints. We're also going to be live streaming this on our YouTube channel, so I might be talking to my live audience, just so you know that. We're going to jump right in here, and it looks like he's coming out in gun tight uh, to start the game, and I am going to have to lock in here. I'm running my 335 defensive ebook, uh, which you can pick up in the description of this video, and I'm running my air raid offense, which if you want to pick that up, that is, in my opinion, one of the best and my favorite offense to run in Madden, um, and really one of the best offenses you can run uh, in the game. So we're going to start out with a really nice sack for Tavarius Moore uh, right off the bat. And that's going to give us an opportunity to kind of get our situational adjustments set up. Got a couple new players. I got Elijah Griffin, 93 speed. Tony Brown, 93 speed. Perry Nickerson, 95 speed. I got Josh Jones. And then I got Traymond Smith in the secondary. And then I got my two rookie safeties right here. And I actually got uh, Obi Melifiano or whatever his name is on safety position as well. What's up, Madden Goat? How you doing, man? What's up, Nate? What's up, Newt? And like I said, guys, if you want to pick up either of these offenses or the defenses, if you're watching in the live chat, it's just exclamation point ebook in the chat, or shoot me a text message if you want to pick up the, the defense. If not, um, then, then, um, then yeah. Let's see if I can lock in here. Completely forgot what I was going to say because I was trying to stop Derrick Henry, and King Henry comes out here and just runs on me for a massive gain of 12. Let's see if he goes no huddle into third down. Um, but yeah, if you want to pick up the ebooks, now that I've got a clear mind uh, and a full heart, I can't lose. Um, pick up the ebooks, exclamation point ebook. If you want to pick up the offense um, on defense, just text me. I have a special link that'll get you 50% off of that. Uh, my number is 812 216 3644. It's in the description, it's also in the top left. And you can type in the chat, exclamation point text. All right, third and six, bunch tight end. He's coming out in bunch tight end. Um, now we're actually going to gas him up and let's see if we can get the setup off. We are going to be able to get the setup off and we're not, we're not going to be able to do it, but we do get the pressure and that's the beauty of that three, three, five wide sending quick pressure at our opponent. We're going to force an early punt, which I'm pumped about the air raid offense is going to make its way onto the football field and we're going to have an opportunity to be able to go up early on our opponent and that's absolutely huge in a CFM game, in my opinion. You're playing these high-state games. Everyone in this league is good. Everyone in this league is tough. And everyone in this league knows exactly what I'm going to be running because I've talked about it pretty much all season. They all have tape on me. So definitely something that I've got to be aware of. All right, so we're going to start out in the spread here. Uh, and realistically, you know, what I'm trying to do in a first drive is basically – you know, just kind of fill my opponent out, kind of see what he's doing. Uh, I don't necessarily, I'm not kind of one of those guys that thinks, oh, you can't show anything on your first drive. Um, I certainly don't mind that. Again, most people know what I'm going to run anyway. So it's all about execution to me. It's all about execution. Now, he shows a cover three defense here at the snap. So what I'm going to do is kind of go to this little, um, you know, just really good zone beater. These little curls, um, little things like this are really, really effective against off coverage, zone coverage uh, like he's running. So he's not going to take the flats away. So I'm going to give it to my man, Boston Scott, with 90 change of direction. I think it's super, super important on your team to look for a running back that has 90 change of directions. I cannot stress to you uh, how much that has helped my offensive game uh, improve and how much I really believe uh, in that. So make sure you're trying to find a running back that has over 90 change of direction. What's up, GoPro? That H shallow uh, cross route or H shallow post route kills man-to-man. -man. Yep, we did a video on it today uh, on the YouTube channel, kind of talking a little bit about that. All right, so right here, he's showing press man coverage, so I have to kind of pay attention here and just be mindful of what he's going to do. And we're going to stop and pop, and there you see my man Noah Fant. Noah Fant's one of the key players on my team. Um, he has almost 90 speed, uh, so that's really good. And then he also has really, really good route running for a, you know, kind of middle-of-the-road uh, tight end. 
And we did give up a ton on our team to get Mahomes. We gave up Keenan Allen, Adrian Amos. We gave up every first round pick that we have for the next 15 years. I mean, we gave up so much to get Mahomes. So, you know, we have to kind of be mindful of that. Now, let's see what happens here. He might go to man-to-man -man coverage. I'm going to go to a little bit more of a mesh style, double crossers uh, type of setup here uh, early. And just going to see. We're going to take the drag because he's not really hard flatting. Uh, and so we're just going to take our yard there. Just kind of get the ball out of our hands quick. What's up, Jordan? How you doing in the chat? And let's see. Right here, we're going to go to Y cross. Love Y cross. Um, and Mahomes has Gunslinger, so you feel like he should be able to get that ball in there. I probably shouldn't have low pointed it. Absolutely got a massive and accurate throw right there. Um, now, this is a really, really important play to run if you're going to want to be interested in running spread. We've got a couple people watching tonight that is really interested in running spread. Right there, my wide receiver completely glitches out, even though I have a wide open touchdown. A little bit frustrating this is something i've noticed in the last patch they patched the game i've played a couple games since the last patch and from what i have seen some random stuff like that has been going on i think it's an effort to make cover three better in my opinion it makes passing worse so let me know what you think about that in the chat i thought that was absolutely ridiculous my receiver stops running even though he has a wide open one play touchdown so we're gonna have to get back on defense and lock up What's up, Jordan? Doing good? Just trying to finish your Seahawks theme team? Oh, nice. You're on the Seahawks theme team? What's Russell Wilson? Does he have Gunslinger now? Has he gotten that ability yet? What's up, Craig Jones? How you doing, man? I'm going to jump over to the multi-stream so I can see both chats uh, at the same time. Sorry about that, boys. If you guys are watching from Twitch or Facebook, say what's up in the chat. Let me know. What's up, Craig Jones? Just saw your message, man. I'm doing good. Doing good. All right, so we're going to cover four drop right here. Uh, this is one of my favorite defenses, just a start. Um, it looks like he's going to run a little read option. And really, honestly, like, as long as we keep this game in front of us, I feel like our defense, I feel like our defense can be fine. Uh, I feel like we honestly probably should have, like, one of the top defenses in the game this year. And the primary reason I feel that way is I feel like we have the best defense, like the best plays, the best everything. Um, we just have a good, uh, a really good defensive front here. So we're going to go to a little user rush tactic and try to kind of blow up this gun tight just with some quick pressure, see what see how he handles that. Uh, we got a deep half here on the right. I don't know if that's necessarily the right decision or not, but we're going to go with it. And we're going to get up there. And we clicked off. That was one of the dumbest things I could have done. I got to make that tackle. I forget I put him in his zone sometimes. So he's going to get a nice first and 10. Now, what we're probably going to do, um, probably going to bluff that a couple times now that he's kind of felt that pressure at least once. Uh, we're actually going to go right back to it. The only difference is we're going to run a cover two uh, on this side. And looks like he's going to run the ball with King Henry again. That's the second time consecutively that he has called inside zone from that formation. So that's kind of something that we're going to have to monitor and we're going to have to watch. We're going to have to be really, really tough on that inside zone. That's another thing that you kind of got to watch when you're running this defense. You'll try a lot of players will will kind of randomly, um, you know, kind of go to something like that. All right. Now, he does have King Henry, so you got to believe he's going to be wanting to ground and pound type of, of strategy here. Tries to hit it out to King Henry in the flat. King Henry breaks 15 tackles at one time, and he's going to have a first down or second and, and two. Shedrick, what's up, man? You forced nine turnovers running the 3-3-5 defense. Why did I kick you out of, out of my franchise? I didn't. Shoot me a text on that. Shoot me a text on that if you want to get back in. If, if you guys want to get in the uh, – PS4 and Xbox One franchises. Just shoot me a text message. Again, my number is in um, the chat. All right. And I kind of thought he was going to go to that right there. Inside zone. What's up, Sammy Gross? How you doing, man? A little inside zone read. That's going to bring up third and two. Now, in this third and two situation, he's probably going to anticipate some heavy pressure, especially if I bluff it. My plan is to kind of go a little bit of heavy coverage in this situation, try to kind of catch, um, try to kind of catch him, you know, in that. So we'll see what happens right here. Again, if you guys are interested in my text membership, it's completely free. You get free schemes every single week um, sent to your cell phone. So shoot me a text message. My number is 812 Two one six three six four four. All right, he's coming out in gun double stack. I'm going to cover four, and then I'm going to immediately audible to this right here. 
and we're gonna send three. I knew that was I knew that was gonna be what he's gonna run. There you see that really really good three three five wide run defense come out for us big right there, and really that's the beauty of the three three five wide. When you really need to stop something, when you know they're going to do something, if you know they're going to run the ball or if you know they're going to run inside zone or you know they're going to run a certain type of route, you always have the tools um, to be able to stop it, which is one of my favorite features of this of this offense. Uh, Jordan asks, how many people are going to be in the Xbox League? Should be 32 members. Uh, Shedrick says running the 46 defense. Okay, nice. Yeah, 4-6 normal, 4-6 speed is really, really effective this year as well. So it looks like he's got 4th and 4 situation. He's kind of in the middle of nowhere. He's actually put together a pretty good drive. So right here, um, it looks like he's going to um, looks like he's going to run here. Uh, we're going to do this. This is just, uh, we're actually going to use that user rush one more time on him. And we got clicked off of our user, and we got really lucky. Moore ends up making a play. We got completely clicked off our user there. That could have been really bad. And to be quite honest with you, we got really lucky with that defensive stop, and we're able to uh, go ahead and get the ball back for our offense now and, uh, and see what we can do. And there you see Y-Cross. Y-Cross is truly, like, I will run Y-Cross until the cows come home. It's one of my favorite plays to run, especially when you have a Patrick Mahomes that has some type of gunslinger, hot route master, uh, just different things uh, like that. With this Mahomes specifically, you know, when he has all of those abilities, it really makes it a lot of fun um, to be able to do that. And right there, Mahomes, as I'm bragging about him, Boston Scott ends up doing something absolutely absurd in the flat. Basically just runs right into the defense. He gets a pick six. And Patrick Mahomes just threw his fourth interception of the season. And this is something that he has struggled with for me in the first couple of games. We're going to have to adjust. Literally, apparently, we can just call cover three all play all game. So we're going to have to adjust to that on our side of the ball. And actually really work on that. Jordan says 4-6 cover 2 has been a really good red zone defense. Yes, it is a good red zone defense. How long should I wait to reach out for a force win? Uh, 24 hours. Give your opponent 24 hours to respond. What is the best team in regs to run spread? The Green Bay Packers is the best team in regs to run spread. All right, so we're going to have to kind of like put that one behind us, honestly. I mean, I felt like that was, I felt like we made the right read. The reality is we probably made the right read a little bit too late. Late in the flat is never a good formula. Apparently, I don't even know what he's doing. I think his zone drops are on 50 yards and on 10 yards um, because he's given us the flats pretty much all game. So we got to adjust here. we got to play a lot better than we've played so far on the offensive side of the ball this season. If we don't, getting Patrick Mahomes was basically pointless. So um, that's kind of our – we've got to get down. And here, just starting out with a simple run to Boston Scott to get his kind of bullet – uh, to get us started, but we're going to start start trying to attack his seams on this guy. A lot of cover three. I mean, a lot of cover three. So we're going to hit the seams right there, hitch seam, and we're gonna we're gonna run it until he'll stop it. Be honest, because he's opening, he's leaving cover three, he's leaving cover three wide open every literally every single play. So just watch his user. There it is again. Same thing. Cover three, every play. Cover three, every play. And now we're going to do right here, and that's going to see there, it forces a timeout. We're going to play up tempo. We see you in a defense like that. We're going to go, 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 go. That's what the air raid is all about. Now he's going to have to shift. You see right here the shift. He is shifting into some type of Tampa 2 more than likely or cover 2 defense. We're going to go to this little play. I love this play in the red zone this year. Um, it's one of my favorite plays. And you see why that wheel route does such a good job at getting separation. Offense is going to try to answer back for itself here uh, and kind of put together a really decent drive. We'll see what happens here on the red zone. And Mahomes is flushed out of the pocket. Probably had that uh, square receiver there, but we're going to end up throwing it away. And somehow cover four drop show two ended up bagging everything we wanted to do on that. 
Right here, we're going to go ahead and just go to the run. This RPO is really, really tough. It's really, really tough to stop in the red zone. Uh, it's really, really tough to stop just honestly in general. But you'll see here, we should be able to get this run off. And Boston Scott absolutely played the worst he possibly could. So we're going to be in a, kind of a tough situation right here. Um, but we're going to go for this. you got to feel good about Mahomes as your quarterback. So we're going to try to kind of thread the needle here. And one of my favorite routes in Madden, this little outside hitch route works for us on a critical fourth down. We're actually going to go to the same play, but we're going to go quick here, and we're looking to the right, and then if that's not open, and there it is right there. Noah Fant in the end zone, touchdown Cowboys. Great answer back drive um, from really what was a very, very, very bad uh, pick six by Patrick Mahomes. Going to give us a 10-7 to 7 advantage. To be honest with you, I feel like we should be a little bit more out in front. Our offense has really let us down to this point, but a big, big answer back with that drive right there. So, uh, so we've got to lock up, and we've got to play some defense. Now, like I said, um, the defense we're running is the nickel 335 defense, right? It's the 335 into the 335 wide. So if you guys want to pick that up, I just released it this month, um, specifically the 335 wide component of it. And so if you want, I have a 50% off discount right now on that ebook. You can pick it up for just 15 bucks. If you have uh, my number, which is in the top left-hand corner, shoot me a text message. I'll send you a direct link that gives you that 50% off code uh, and can get you guys getting some really, really good uh, stops on the defensive side of the ball. All right, so it looks like my opponent is going to go uh, to this trip side in offense here. We're going to run uh, kind of a – you know, just a user. We're going to try, try to hit him with this user rush right here. He ends up running it again. That's the third straight time he's ran the ball to Derrick Henry out of this formation. You would think I would probably start to adjust to it, but unfortunately I just let him do it to me over and over again. So. All right, right here. Same kind of thing. Bunch that in. Now, we did user rush this one, and this came wide open right here. So watch Kenny Holiday. And he's going to go to the two-minute warning. The one thing that we haven't done uh, or that we haven't seen him do yet is really give us anything we have to worry about, about from a route combination perspective. Um, it's really just been a slant here, you know, a, a post here, something like that. So, you know, really it's just kind of keeping everything in front of us until he forces, you know, the issue a little bit more. So we'll see what he does right here. Now, if he runs inside zone right here, he's smart. We'll see what he does. Motion over Kenny. Now, you would think he's going to pass right here. Here's, there's the post route. And he's going to go up top. And Kenny Galladay is going to almost catch what should have been a pick thrown into triple coverage uh, for me. Not exactly the best that we could have we could have asked for. What's up, greatest ever? You added me on PlayStation? Nice. I appreciate that, man. Shoot me a text message. Let me know what's up. All right, Gun Bunch. And for Gun Bunch, I actually really like uh, this defense right here. Now, last time he was in Gun Bunch, he went to the tight end or the little back route right here. So we're going to take that away. And he's going to go up top. I'm not quite sure what route he was on. I think he's probably got some kind of hot route ability on him. And I think he was on like a post route coming back across formation. This seems kind of like this guy's um, plan. Uh, for lack of a better word there. So, um, you know, we're going to we're gonna kind of onto that a little bit here. We're going to go to some man coverage, just kind of mix things up. And that's the second time he's called that specific run out of tight slots. So we got to kind of monitor that run as well. But that's going to bring up a second and 10. And honestly, uh, we're going to stand in this gun bunch and just kind of make him make a read. Should have a lot of things open. And he's going to go to HB base. And there's that really nice run defense that we posted from the 3 through 5 uh, normal. Now, what we're going to do in this situation, we're kind of trying to play as if we can get the ball back, have a chance. Um, one of the things that I'm going to be doing right here is I have to force the issue. And the reason why is because if I can get him out of field goal range, it's actually huge. So we're going to be sending everybody right here at the quarterback uh, trying to make a play happen. And there's really no cover three issue here. And he's going to block 17 people. My guy drops another interception. 
and that brings up a fourth and ten now he is going to take his three i feel like the defense is kind of getting robbed a little bit i feel like i'm making plays um and i feel like you know when that happens to me in a game one of the things i've got to fight the urge to do is just get super frustrated and i have to remember again mistakes like what well, just happened would happen things are going to happen through the course of the game I feel really good about the fact that my defense has pretty much consistently gotten those stops for me. So that's a nice, a positive sign. So, you know, I've got to keep working a little bit here. All right, I'm going to go to hitch seam again. And the reason why is because of that read right there. I thought I could hit that. Now, right there, that's actually a huge dot. That's going to put us in field goal range. Now, if he would have just simply pressed his safeties, that probably would have stopped that. So I got to watch out. You see there, he's he's pressing the safeties now. So what I'm going to do is go to this play. This is one of my favorite cover four beaters. And I don't know if he's going to consistently be in cover four, but if he does stay in cover four right here, uh, this route to Julio Jones could be wide open for a touchdown. We'll see. And he does show a cover one read. And we are going to have to go ahead and throw it. And Julio Jones over the top for a one play touchdown. That is what I really, really like a lot about the air raid offense if you guys want to pick up this ebook again it's in the description exclamation point ebook if you're watching on youtube right now but that is one of the beauties of the offense you have answers against those vaunted cover four defenses against some of those max coverage defenses you have answers to pretty much everything they're going to do what's up nolan nolan says hey bro really need help play someone who runs cover two beater when I'm in cover two and a cover three beater when I'm in cover three and so on, I will change my D so much and still get burnt every time. Uh, Nolan, I would recommend running cover three and deep half in your outside corners. By doing that, that's going to make that cover two kind of help that cover three concept. And you're going to basically be running the best of both worlds. Also, if you want a little bit more advanced advice, um, go ahead and shoot me a text message and I can give you some actual setups and uh, defenses that you can use. All right, now you got to be thinking that he might run this, and he didn't do it that time. There's that post route to my man, uh, Kenny G. And he throws it up to him again. Now, that was actually a really good click on right there. I knew I wasn't going to get the interception. So all I simply did was just basically spammed um, RB. Now, in this situation, just because, of, again, just because of the situation, right, I'm going to back this off to about 30 yards. I'm going to back the flat zones off to 20 uh, and just kind of play a uh, little bit, but don't break. We're going to play Tampa 2 style. And and basically just kind of uh, sit in that. So if he wants to run inside zone, he has it. But other than that, we should be fine. Just kind of taking these things deep. And I'm going to let my spy go in and just user rush him. And we almost got that. We almost got that interception. That would have been huge in this game. What's up, Nolan? So you said I should put my outside corner into what? Into a deep half zone. So you do that by hitting triangle, triangle, clicking on the icon of the player, and then flicking the right joystick to the right to be able to do that. All right, so right here, he's going to go to gun bunch. And we're just going to kind of play some Mabel coverage. Really, honestly, just trying to keep everything in front of us here. We Really, only thing he's got is this left side seam. Um, so with this motion over, we're really going to be kind of hem hemorrhaging off this. Watch for that post. There's that little crazy route. And then we're going to kind of let that guy go in. And that's going to be the end of the half. Just kind of sit in cover too, honestly. But uh, yeah, no one for sure, man. Just hit me up too via text if if you need anything. Exclamation point text in the chat. So we're going to get the ball at half. Now, I like to watch here for... I like to literally just sit here. I've given up so many onside kicks by not paying attention to this. So I'm literally just going to sit here and wait until one second. And if I don't see onside kick at one second, then I'm going to pick... Return middle. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So we're going to get the ball coming out of half. The offense needs a drive. In, in my opinion, the defense looked pretty dang good uh, in the first in the first half. The offense did not look good until that second drive. So we really want to get um, we really want to get a good drive. Yes, the air raid playbook, in my opinion, is the best offense. Um, for me uh, when I use it properly and I don't always use it properly but when I do uh, I find this to be the absolute most dominating offense uh, in Madden see how the flats just 
open everything up by using flat routes I feel like you know one of the most underrated routes in the entire game right now is these flat routes we're looking to kind of leverage this hitch seam play uh, and really kind of see uh, what it does but basically this little rat catch animation right there uh, able to click on the receiver you know get up get a couple quick yards and then get down basically um, is really really important when running this offense so when you're able to do that it can start to open things up because now he's going to have to watch out for um, different things right there. Now, he's showing me a cover three, or I'm sorry, a cover four read again. So we're just going to kind of honestly keep it stupid simple here. Um, but we, you see here what we have on the field. These are the routes. Um, our first little quick play is to look to Anderson to see if he'll be open. Um, one other thing I like to do is just maybe even a smoke screen just to kind of see, you know, if he's blitzing or not really paying attention, we can hit that early. Um, right here, we're going to let's see if Mahomes can make a massive throw, and he does hit that route, and that's one of my favorite routes in Madden for why you just saw right there, and Mahomes came up huge with an absolute laser over the top of that cover three uh, defense, and we're going to put ourselves in a nice first and goal situation, kind of play fast a little bit, Mahomes is actually going to keep this one himself, probably not the smartest idea, uh, should, I kind of I kind of blindly read that I didn't really read the play, um, so that was a mistake by me. I'm gonna motion in here. Now I'm watching that receiver, that corner on the left side. If the corner blitzes right here, he does. We're gonna hit that little smoke screen, and Julio Jones is gonna get in with a reservation for six. Patrick Mahomes to Julio Jones for a touchdown. TDs in the chat, and the defense is now going to be able to play with a three-possession lead. That is a huge touchdown in this game. Exclamation point ebook if you want to get this air raid offense in the chat. If you're watching this on YouTube at a later time, then this offense is available to you in the description as well as the defense that I'm running in this game. Also, if you have any questions about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it on offense or defense, you can always text me. My number is 812 216-3644. It's in the top left hand corner of your screen as well as in the description of the video. Okay, so first and 10. Now we do need to change these drops. That's actually really important. Uh, we're going to put our flats back to default. We're going to put our curl flats at 25 just based on kind of the routes that he's been running. And then we're going to put these hook zones on default. And what we're going to do is a couple different strategies um, the first one we're gonna kind of let him take his underneath here just kind of keep everything out in front of us big time drop so if, there, if there's like a flat to the back on the right or something I'll go get that uh, but basically I have the right seam and the right flat those are kind of the two things that I have um, Aaron I'm gonna get to your question here in just a second for those of you that are watching this tomorrow uh, I have and dang it that was literally my play that I was supposed to go stop I have this going on live as well. I live stream on YouTube every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you haven't come and check out a stream yet, that is um, a great opportunity for you. What's up, Chase Yarball? Uh, what's up, Aaron? What playbook am I running? I'm running the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook on offense and the nickel 335 or the 46 playbook um, on defense. All right, now right here I'm going to go to a little cover four drop and really just kind of – Trying to keep him in front of me a little bit. Um, trying not to give up anything too big over the top. Watching that quick route right there. I got the slant that I got to go get. And he's going to throw it. And this time we're not going to drop it. Huge pick by my guy. Do a little stop and go. And we actually had bad joystick work right there. Tony Brown unable to return it for a touchdown. But really, really good. Defense finally holds. And now the offense can put the game away. So really good opportunity here for the offense. Love this route to uh, Noah Fant right here. Like, absolutely love this route. Combination with a little flat route right there. And then I basically have this little 10-yard uh, kind of smart out that I can look at too. And you're going to notice that these crossing routes from spread are super good, especially if you have a hot route master like Patrick Mahomes to be able to put those routes on your field. I think it makes such a, such a massive, massive difference uh, in terms of quality of the routes and what you are really forcing the defense to do um, right here. So interesting uh, kind of move by him. He's going to go with a little bit of a coverage D and really nothing downfield. So Mahomes is just going to take this run up field, get out of bounds, get himself some good yardage, 
And one of the plays that I haven't ran a lot this game that I actually should be running is this curl wheel play. This is my favorite play in the game, and I honestly have probably caught it twice. So um, haven't really ran this a lot. Um, now, one of the new ways I've actually really enjoyed running this is basically simply curl flats on steroids, borderline. I mean, you basically have your post, you have your curl, you have your, your two flat reads, uh, if that's something you want to look into. And right there, got some good pressure by my opponent, and he's going to get a nice sack. And I also really like, like, if he's running a lot of zone, like this guy's running a lot, a lot of zone, then I will do something like this right here. This setup I really like against zone coverage. Uh, just a little quick snap throws. Get it out there. Get it out quick. And um, we could go for this in this situation, but there's really no reason to with our uh, our lead and stuff. So we're just going to keep this game in front of us, not do anything to kind of upset it and get back on defense and keep playing a pretty good game. So far, the defense has pitched a shutout. The offense gave up a pick six. So... That is the situation. Like I said, if you guys want to play in our CFM, I didn't tell you that this CFM is for a hundred dollars cash. So Super Bowl champion um, gets a hundred bucks cash. So if you want to play in the CFM and compete, um, that's why every single regular season game is so critical because you're playing for good seeds in the playoffs you're playing for bragging rights but you're also at the end of the day playing to compete for that 100 dollar cash prize uh, at the end of the season so if you want to sign up for the cfm shoot me a text let me know what's up or if you're watching on youtube right now exclamation point uh cfm you can look at all the information you need to know uh, about the game what are my abilities on offense? My abilities on offense are pretty much Mahomes as hot route master. And then both of my receivers have, uh, I believe both of my receivers have route tech. And I think they have deep out elite on them. Because I don't think I could put deep in all out, out elite or deep in elite on them. Um, so that's what I'm doing. You see the beauty of this defense. We've held Justin Herbert, one of the best quarterbacks in the game right now, um, to 90 yards passing up till this point so this is one of the main reasons i really truly do love uh this defense this is truly my favorite defense to sit in i feel very comfortable putting them pretty much against any offense um to be able to sit in this defense and right there he got at me with a nice little crossing route to the flat good read by him And that's going to bring up the fourth quarter, boys. So put your fours up in the chat. Because we are going to the fourth. All right, I'm going to do kind of a different coverage. I don't run this a ton. This is cover four. Uh, most of the time, you don't see crossing routes ran uh, to the short side of the field. So I'm going to try something like this right here. Got him completely boxed and going to force another throw away in the chat. Is Gunslinger worth it 100%? Yes, Mahomes has Gunslinger. That's why I spent so much to uh, pick him up. He has Gunslinger, and I'm, I cannot stress to you enough how important it really is. All right, so I'm going to put that Mabel coverage to the wide side of the field. I'm going to play that short coverage to this side. Um, now, with the way he's running, I fully anticipate Oh, a little off tackle here to the right, to the short side of the field. Interesting play call. Again, I kind of, you know, one of the things in Madden I think super, super is relevant is to play the hashes. Um, I think that's something that not a whole lot of people talk about. But when you play the hashes, it really does allow you a lot of flexibility on defense and allows you to do... You know, something like cover four to one side, cover two to another side. Uh, and that was one of the coolest routes I've seen all season. A little, basically a little copo route to the tight end, a little corner post route. Would I prefer Mahomes or Michael Vick? I personally think Michael Vick's better in Mutt. Mahomes is better in, obviously, Regs or, or uh, CFM. But what I'm basically doing is kind of running uh, cover two to one side 
and cover three to another or um, cover four to another side instead of cover three. So we got that extra extra kind of thing right there to kind of keep us you know aware of that. And right there goes to the outside corner rod. He actually had it. I think he hit it a little bit late. And I've got to look into that. That was a great read by him. Defense did not play very well. Defense did not not play very well on that. So I got to kind of plan. Um, that he's going to go back to that. So we're going to run a little Mabel coverage at him on the bunch side. And then other than that, you know, if he runs like a little quick route to the to the back, we're going to jump at it. And then if not, I, we should see like a flat route here to the back. Yep. And then this right here coming across. And the defense is able to hold once again. Good defense by me. And that's going to bring up a third and 17. Now, what we're going to kind of say for this third and 17 is um, – Basically, a little coverage uh, defense I really, really like, um, and that's this little, uh, just little uh, user rush right off the edge here. Basically, we're just going to kind of get some extra pressure on him, got some extra pressure on him on both sides of the field. We're able to swat the ball. Now he does have the decision here to either go for it or to kick a field goal if he wants to go for point differential. The defense did end up giving up a field goal, but so far the defense I feel like has played really, really good. Um. Question in the chat is, do I like the Chargers, and what do I think of their future? I do like the Chargers. I love the Chargers, actually. I think they got a wide receiver. I think they got a really good quarterback. I think they got pretty decent defense. They got a lot of pit. I think they got a lot of pieces um, that they can kind of build around, which is really, really nice. And kind of by the grace here, my opponent ends up missing his second kick of the game. Um... And so we have the opportunity now to go down and score once more. Now he's showing cover three. Now I don't know in, in particular like what specific type of cover three he's actually running. So we're going to kind of do, um, you know, kind of a little cover three beater here and see how this works to my slot receiver. And that's going to be wide open. You're going to see Mahomes with all that throw power up. And my receiver just glitches out at the very end. And that should have been a wide open touchdown. Unfortunately, it wasn't. We're going to kind of quick snap him here a little bit. Just kind of go go play fast. And we're going to hit that nice post route to Julio Jones. It's a little quick snap touchdown. Kind of send a message to the NFL. If you watched my last CFM game, I did not play my best on the offensive side of the ball. I really didn't start out this game playing very good either um, on the offensive side of the ball. Able to come back after that pick six and really hang 34 points up on the scoreboard. Really proud of that. And uh, we're going to continue to execute at a high level. And hopefully this is kind of the turning point for Mahomes to get comfortable in his new offensive system. For me to get comfortable using the air raid again. And uh, for us to be able to lock in. I got a question in the chat, the live YouTube chat. Um, it's from my man Jeremy Delgado. He says, what defensive playbook am I using? I am using the nickel 335 and the nickel 335 wide. You can find both of those um, in the 4-6 uh, defensive playbook. 4-6 defensive playbook is what I'm running on uh, defense. And then the Arizona Cardinals is what I'm running on offense. I have ebooks for both uh, playbooks in the uh, description of this video. If you want a discount on the defensive uh, ebook, just shoot me a text message. My opinion, it's the most simple defense on God's green earth to run, but it's super, super tough to beat and allows you to spend your time, you know, focusing in on your adjustments rather than just, you know, your, your, um, you know, anything else. So right here, a little cover four. Now, again, you know, like I said, adjustments, right? So he's not really running a lot uh, of, of something like this right here. So we're going to go to something like this. You know, just kind of a roll coverage and just kind of keep things out in front here. He's got clouds there and he's going to throw right up to user and there's Tavarius Moore. It's, it wouldn't be a Dallas Cowboys uh, CFM game if Tavarius Moore did not show why he is one of the most underrated users with 95 speed standing at six foot five. An absolute beast in this defense makes a huge play towards the end of the game here and it looks like my opponent is showing cover three once again so we're going to show um it might shift here to cover two man and it looks like he's going to um we're just going to playmaker this up and mahomes and mahomes is going to throw another interception kind of a stupid read uh by me i should have just thrown the ball away right there got a little greedy tried to force it with mahomes thought i could get over the top of him 
The unfortunate part is when you use Gunslinger, your uh, quarterback throws a lower trajectory. Uh, so that's just something that, that we have to be prepared for. And he's going to go to weak close flex here. King Henry trying to kind of shorten the game a little bit with King Henry. And we've actually done okay against Henry. I'm surprised he didn't run him more. King Henry has all those abilities. Big time runner. Good back. Hard to stop. Hard to stop for a yard. Um, so we're able to kind of keep him in front of us. Again, that's the beauty of the 3-3-5 defense. You know, uh, whenever you really do, in, whenever we really hone in and try to stop the run, this thing can really box the run. It can really contain a lot of the best running attacks in the game. And when you combine it with the great personnel that we're able to get on our field, we got all this speed. We got 91 speed from Shaq Griffin. We got 86 speed from Avery. And we got, um, I believe, 88 speed from my man uh, Kareem Martin right there. I forgot to sub him in. And now he's going to go to uh, trip side in. And we're going to go to a little... Um, a little coverage defense right here, just kind of keeping everything out in front of us a little bit. A little flat over there. I'm not using any purples on this one. Probably should have, actually, because that's going to be there. And it looks like he's going to roll out and throw the ball away. Two picks, 8 of 19 for a buck 22. Defense has done its job in this ball game, and we basically are on the field one more time to effectively uh, close it out. So we're going to set up a little coverage defense here at a 3-3-5. Kind of showing that five-man rush uh, if it's there. And a little corner route. A little corner route on that right side. And I'm surprised he didn't hit that corner route. We actually tried to go save that with our user. It did leave some of that stuff open coming back across the body. But he ends up getting kind of a bad throw from Herbert. And that's going to bring up another fourth down and 11 situation for the defense. He's going to go to gun tight slots weak. We're going to send all that pressure right here. And we're going to see if he if he blocks people. I don't know if he will or not. And he didn't really block anybody. Throws right into our middle third. Ends up making a really, really difficult catch. Um, and he's going to be able to keep moving the ball down the field. What's up, m 23 How you doing? Says, I don't play head-to-head -head for three to four days, and then I suck. I feel your pain sometimes, my man. A little HB run to Derek King, me, Henry. Uh, and again, 11 carries for 63 yards. So, I mean, he's been averaging four to five yards a carry uh, and been playing playing really, really well. I think he's a little bit over five yards a carry. So, you know, we haven't done the best job against King Henry, but to be honest, we really haven't had to. Uh, and right here, we're going to... We're going to run some clouds. We've got that pressure coming in off that right edge. And now we, we got him. We got him. He's going to scramble, throw it away again. Now, really quick, once again, last time I'll say this for this video, but if you haven't picked up our offensive or defensive ebooks, those links are in the description. If you're watching on YouTube right now, um, you can actually pick those up just by, um, you know, heading over or, or typing in the chat exclamation point ebook or exclamation point uh, text. If you text me, I can get you some discounts on those ebooks. My number is 812-216-3644. So shoot me a text message if you want to pick up our offense or our defense. We upload four videos a day on YouTube. Every video, a video goes up at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 8 o'clock. All of those videos are designed to basically try to help you um, effectively get the most that you can out of Madden 21. Get better on offense, get better on defense, and basically just win more games, essentially, in Madden 21. So if you're looking to get better at this game, I would highly encourage you to go ahead and just check out some of that stuff. Uh, I think it could be very, very beneficial. And right here, we kind of got him, and there, that's going to be kind of some payback. I mean, he got a pick on a late throw to the flat. We're going to get a pick six on a late throw to the flat, and a big-time dub for the Cowboys Saints versus Cowboys. Cowboys are going to go to 2-0. Saints are going to go to 1-2 and on the season. We'll have more games. If you enjoy these CFM gameplays, go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and share me uh, in the comments. Let me know that you enjoy the gameplays. If you have any questions about what you saw in the game, go ahead. If you're in the YouTube chat, you can ask those questions right now. If you're watching this at a later time, then you can comment those in the comment section or, again, 
If you have any Madden questions at all, you can always text me. My number is 812-216-3644. And one little thing is every single week we actually break down full schemes for our text uh, crew. So basically people that text us, we send them every week a full scheme. It might be a full offensive scheme, a full defensive scheme, a full breakdown. These breakdowns are typically about a 45 minute video to an hour long. So really, really in depth. And basically what we try to do um, is we just try to essentially give you guys the best resources you can to be effective both on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball, show you updates to things as they come out. But that's kind of what we do here at the channel. So I want to thank you guys for watching this video. We're going to kind of play this out here, see how this goes. If you're watching live on YouTube, we're going to continue with our stream. And again, if you don't ever come to the live streams, you're really missing out because that's a great place to ask questions. You get immediate feedback. We live stream every single night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Um, so if you ever want to come by the stream, you're always welcome. Again, you just come right by the channel. And, uh, and hit us up right here. So defense is still fighting. Uh, really a good fight. I think the defense really played well today. Uh, was able to come out, get the dub. The rookies played good, which I really like. My man ha Hamsa, Nazarel Dean, and then my man Caden Stearns. I also have this other rookie that I'm trying to rank up right now, Elijah Griffin. He has 93 speed. Um, so trying to get him up to you know a little bit higher speed. But... Uh, does a really good job. Pretty much all my safeties, the one thing that I really want to see is I just want to see him be faster. Uh, it's kind of how my defense is honestly built a little bit. And he's going to throw late over the middle. That's another dropped pick for the defense. I feel like I'm kind of irritated because I'm not sure if the latest patch did something. My first real serious game on the latest patch. And... Um, the one issue uh, that I've been noticing is I've been dropping a lot, and I mean a lot more uh, interceptions consistently, you know, just having issues like that where my players aren't making plays. So I don't know if that's something to do with the patch or if it's something else. But uh, anyway, we're going to lock up here. Let's see if we can get the ball right there. Once again, another drop pick. But good game to my man. They love cash. If you guys want to play in the CFM, hit me up. If you want the ebook, in the description. If you have any questions, hit me up via text. And if you want a little bit of a discount on the ebooks, hit me up via text as well. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.